One morning to find land that you own converted into a public service vehicle terminus. That is a story of Mze Lawrence Miner from Nakuru County, who now accuses the Nakuru County government of invading his private property, as Joanne Letting now reports. On Tuesday morning, Mze Lawrence Miner, who is in the process of building a premise, woke up to a rude shock as county Ascaris arrived early morning and directed touts and residents within the area to demolish his fence. Maina claims that the county Ascaris then instructed locals to load the fencing materials onto the county vehicles after which they were transported away from the scene. He fence yenye imebomole wa jana nilikuwa nimetumia 1 million shillings kuweka. Kulikuwa na mawe roli ishirini za roli double na kulikuwa na mchaga roli ishirini double. Maina claims to have suffered losses worth hundreds of thousands after the fence was demolished by touts operating in the new terminals near Nakuru County Cemetery. The measure was taken by the county to create more room at the bus terminals and ensure social distancing. Despite the intent, Maina says nobody consulted him nor asked for permission before invading the land. Obiragula kwa governor Lee Kenya Jui ni kutii sheria ya serikali ya Kenya kwa sababu tunaogozwa na sheria ya serikali ya Kenya kuhesimu private properties sababu hata na ea kwa na zake abazo hawezi peda kuona zikigiriwa na mtu ya yote. In a statement, Nakuru County Director in Charge of Communication Beatrice Sobocha acknowledged that the invention on a private property was done by the county government stating that the move is temporary and aimed at addressing the congestion in bus parks in a bid to prevent the spread of COVID-19 as we look for long-term measures, end quote. The Lawrence Minor will be hoping that the courts will grant him justice. Joanne Letting, KTN News in Nakuru County.